Welcome back to another video. If you're new to my channel, welcome. For this video, I'm making an extended press on set. If you're interested in seeing how I got to this point with the nail tips combined, then you can check out my playlist. I'll leave it linked in the cards. And the first few videos in that playlist do show how I put the nail tips together and file them down and stuff. So I had them filed nice and smooth and now I'm just going over them with base coat gel. So this is that first coat and I'm just gonna cure that in the lamp and then go in with a second coat. I also wanted to go ahead and do my featured comment, so thank you so much for your comment on my previous upload. I really appreciate it. Before I cure that second coat of base coat gel in the lamp, I'm going to go in with these holographic flakes. So they're just little circles and I'm just going to put that all over the pointer finger and then cure that in the lamp. On the thumb, I'm putting down a white base, so I'm going to put two coats of this white gel polish and cure in between each coat. Then I'm going to go over it with some base coat gel, but before I cure the base coat gel, I'm then going to apply some more of the little glitter flakes that I've left out. And I'm going to put that at the tip of the nail and just kind of work it back towards the cuticle area to create an ombre glitter look. But I also wanted to go ahead and add some base coat gel to the other nails. I typically do about three coats of base coat gel to kind of build the nails up a little bit. And then I also need to cap the glitter on the pointer finger. So I'm going to go in with a few more coats over that nail. Of course for this set I'm going in with some blue, y'all know blue is my favorite color, but I accidentally put it on the ring finger, so I did go back and wipe that off, which you'll see later on in the video. I'm going to actually be putting that blue color on the pinky instead. And then for the middle finger, I'm putting two coats of white gel polish, and that's because I'm going to be going over that nail with my nail decal. So I printed out a ton of different nail decals, so I'm probably going to be using them a lot in my upcoming videos, but for this set I wanted to do a designer nail set so I printed out this blue Dior print and I'm going to be putting that over the white base to kind of make it nice and vibrant While I let those nails cure in the lamp, I'm going to go in and put my peel off base coat on. So I'm applying this because I don't plan on wearing these nails. But if you did want to wear your press on nails and have them last for about three weeks, then you just want to go in and prep your nails by lightly filing the shine off of them and then go in with some dehydrator and some primer. And I'm using the McCart nail glue like I always do because it's my favorite. But yeah, this is what the decal looks like. I printed out quite a bit of this. I really didn't need that much so I'll definitely be using this again at some point I'll just you know hold on to it but I'm just cutting out the little square that I need and of course with these decals I made them myself I'm going to leave a video in the description box that shows how you can make your own nail decals and if you're into doing your own nails and you like trying out different designs but maybe you're not the best at actually hand painting designs then I would definitely recommend um, getting some nail decal paper and making your own nail decals like it's super easy to do and then you have a ton of different options um because i know 
different companies um even on aliexpress they have it different nail foils that are designer but for me i just always felt like it really wasn't worth it to get a whole set of different colors and stuff when i could just print out you know as much as i actually need especially since i'm only doing my own nails of course if you're a nail tech or something then having a ton of different options may be good for you but yeah the only set that i saw that had dior it had like dior in every single color it was like 10 different colors and i'm like i really don't need that much of each one and it was probably like 10 or 12 dollars whereas for the decal paper i'm pretty sure i paid around that amount for all of the decal sheets of paper and i think it's about 20 in a pack and yeah you can fit a ton of different decals just on one sheet so yeah i would definitely recommend it of course you would need a printer so that you can actually print them out um colored ink and then also some krylon kmart varnish to seal it but yeah you can definitely check out the video in my description box to really see the process of how to make them but i went ahead and took all of the nails off of the nail stand now that my um peel off base coat is dry and i'm just going to glue them on and then start applying my bling On the pinky, I'm just going to apply some of these little pixie crystals. So I'm using the Inakator gummy jelly to adhere it. So I'm just putting that all over the nail. I'm going to go over it with some top coat. And then I'm just going to pour the little pixie crystals all over the nail and then cure it into place. For the ring finger, I'm going to be applying bling all over that nail also, so I'm putting gummy jelly all over it. I'm then going to go over that with some top coat gel and then apply my bling. This set was inspired by a set that I saw um, another nail tech do. She actually sells press on nails, so I'm going to insert a picture over here and then I'll have a link to her Instagram in the description box if you're interested in checking that out. But yeah, I thought this set was super cute and I saw how she did a little accent nail and incorporated a gold chain. So I remember that a pine gel polish starter kit that I got had this chain in it so I grabbed that and I'm just applying it on the nail just moving it around and then I'm just going to take some cuticle nippers and cut off all of the extra that's hanging off but yeah I really do love the way that this nail turned out this entire set I just thought was so pretty but yeah um for this set that the gold chain and all of the rhinestones and stuff came in I'm going to leave that linked in the cards if you missed that video where I unboxed it and like used it for the first time this was a while ago um so yeah I'm just gonna leave that in the cards if anyone's interested in seeing that and then I'm applying some of these big blue stones I'm applying three just as like a little accent to this nail and then I'm gonna put regular AB stones all around those but yeah I just thought this nail was so beautiful and then I'm going to apply a little bit of bling to the pointer finger also just along the smile line and that's pretty much it for this set
Once I finished applying the bling, I also top coated the middle finger and thumb, but that's pretty much it for this nail design. You can also top coat the underside of the pointer finger since it is like a glass nail. But yeah, I think these are so beautiful. Please let me know what y'all think of them in the comment section. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, be sure to subscribe. Press that notification bell so that you're always notified when I upload and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye!